All right, guys, so you picked up a Harrington Arms HD43 compensator. You want to know how to install it, or you're just curious how to install a finned compensator. Today, we're going to dive into it. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your barrel is clean and degreased. Obviously, if it's brand new, there could be a, a layer of grease on there or oil from machining or from the factory. So you're going to want to make sure that you completely degrease this. The reason we do this is so that the Loctite will stick and cure fully on the barrel threads. So what we're going to do is we're going to plop our barrel in our slide and then we're going to take our Loctite. We sell this Loctite on the site. This is just 243 mild blue Loctite. And you're going to want to put some on here. You're going to want to go kind of heavy and then roll it around the surface of the thread. Get it all the way around so that it is completely coating the threads. Want to make sure you do this correctly, otherwise you could have the compensator loosen up. And then pull your barrel forward a little bit, like this. That way you can start threading it on. Again, with your compensator, if it's brand new or used, you're going to want to make sure that the threads inside the compensator are fully cleaned and degreased. You can do that with a toothbrush and some degreaser, Dawn dish soap, anything like that. So you can see I threaded it on until it stopped and the barrel will not go all the way into the slide. It won't fully seat. So we're gonna back it off a turn and you heard it click in. So you see we're fully in battery. Um, so that means the compensator has enough of a gap there that it will let it lock in place. So what you wanna do is hold it up to the light and check to make sure that there's light coming between the fins and the slide. Also another way you can check is that there's a gap between the comp and the front of the slide here. We have light showing between all of that. If you can't see it, you can use a piece of paper to slide it in there and see if it works or if it fits. So now, since we have it to this point, we're gonna install our guide rod assembly. The reason we wanna wait on this is it will protrude a little bit and not let you rotate it all the way up flush you'll have a little bit more of a gap between the comp and slide. Then we're gonna take our Allen key and our set screws. We recommend putting in new set screws each time you take the comp off. Only reason we do this is so that you don't wallow out the hex or strip any threads. Starting fresh is just easier. It's two bucks. You know, you can clean your compensator without, or you can clean your pistol without taking your compensator off. So this should be a pretty rare occasion. Grab a towel here. We'll wipe up the Loctite on the comp here. Now you just want to go until it stops. You don't want to thread it on and really get after it with the Allen key because then you're going to have the compensator want to twist on you. Same thing on the other set screw. You're going to want to apply Loctite. If you go heavy, it's not a big deal. And then thread it in until it stops. Clean up the Loctite extra. So now you got your test screws in, you're going to want to back both of them off just a little bit so that you can spin this the way you need to. There's a little bit of play in the comp. Pinch down here at the bottom where this guide rod goes. You can see the dimensions are almost identical. What I do is I pinch right here and then I tighten it up till it stops on one side. Go to the other side, tighten it up till it stops. Compensator didn't shift, so now we'll come back, get a little bit tighter. And we'll just keep going back and forth, trying to get the compensator to stay. What you'll find is sometimes it'll want to spin because the set screws are tightening on a tangent point. Just back it off a little bit, get it nice and square with this. You can pinch it or you can look down the slide and check to see if it's off a little bit. Um, and then just keep tightening. Keep going back and forth until it's all the way tight. You don't have to go crazy with it because the Loctite's on here. Just keep going until it's nice and snug. Um, if you want to use a torque wrench, it's 14 to 16 inch pounds. That'll make it nice and tight for you. Um, I don't recommend going over 16. These little Allen keys can get stripped out pretty easily. So if you don't have a torque wrench, you can use the Allen key. It'll work just fine. But that's it. Super easy install. Make sure there's a gap between the compensator and the slide. Make sure you pinch down here or you look down the slide and it is perfectly flat. If it's rotated off a little bit, you can find that your fin may hit the compensator. So make sure you install that correctly. And let's check the guide rod down here. Check function. 
and good to go. So it's as simple as that. To install your compensator, all you have to do is thread it on, add some Loctite, and make sure you have a gap between the fins and the slide. If you guys like this video, we'd appreciate a like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.